Okay, hello everyone. I'm just going to check my desktop audio level real quick. And uh, we'll do that by playing the bit of the song we started um, a couple of weeks ago. So let's go ahead and give it a listen real quick. That's where we had it. Um, we started out just making the chords and the drum beats, um, and as well as the general format of the song. So we've got the introduction, the first chorus, and the continuing pattern, uh, an empty space to focus on a beat for a melody, and then continuing for the rest of the song there. So, uh, first things first, we got to do our melody. And it looks like I've got a couple of instruments here uh, picked out already. So, let's get a new layer. Call it Melody. random color and let me check this instrument I forgot what it was it's been a little too long just a nice guitar so this will be the instrument we use our melody for the Rhodes is what our chorus is and the cosmic is what the bass is so uh, we'll do this for the melody. Let me come in here too. Okay, that's like a, a pad sound. Okay, and I'm just going to mess around with the melody and find something that I like. Let's decide what key we want it in. I think we'll keep it between five and six. These are a little too high for me, I think. And let's see how the pitch shift sounds with this instrument. <laughs> A boy. A boy. That actually sounds pretty cool. So yeah, I'm gonna keep it. Sounds a little funny when it's quick, but it works pretty good on the song. What? No H's. Since this is the first one, let's get these um, spaced out, actually. I'm going to make these notes. Let's make this one a full four beats. We'll have the pitch up here. And let's see what it sounds like with the short. So not so great with a short note with the pitch shift.
Uh, let's make this on a normal note. I think I'm going to go for a full four bar melody here. I think that one's a little too long. And then maybe let's do some quicker notes in the fourth bar. Uh, let's finish out this one though. So. I think this one's going to be too high. Okay, and then uh, in these two areas, these two bars, we'll get some quicker notes in, but not with the pitch shift, because those don't sound good with this instrument. Gotta get these outs out of here. Don't want it to be dissonant. And that'll be a nice lead into the chorus. So let's get this down here. Auto name this. And let's see how it sounds. And I may go ahead. Okay, let's clone this. We'll leave Melody 2 as the lead up to the chorus. And we're going to change Melody 1's ending to B calmer. That was deleted. Okay, yeah, that's a, a good uh, transition there. Let's play this through. Okay, and that'll be a good base to start. Um, let's see. The audio mixing needs some work. It's feeling a little muddy. We definitely want the melody to stand out. So let's try just turning the volume of the melody up, the bass down. And it's definitely the 808, the 808 that's drowning it out. 
uh, if I come here to drum. It's this 808 kick that's drowning things out. So let's lower this a little. Okay, so that's sounding much better, much more distinct. I think I'm going to turn down the 808 a little more, turn down the tom a little. Yeah, that's yeah, good. Yeah. Okay, let's get into the chorus melody now. I think I'm going to go ahead and differentiate these since I have the melody one and two for the non chorus bits. So we will have a chorus melody as well. Give it a random color. And then we'll just make a quicker, more upbeat pattern here. Maybe messing with the higher octaves a little more. Maybe let's continue that quick beat succession from the last. Uh, the last part of the melody in the lead up. Just get these down here. Okay, that's sounding good. And let's again make this uh, four bars in length. Okay, so that's good for the first part of the choral melody. And then let's duplicate this. And we'll change the end to prepare for the end of the chorus. So we're just going to change this end bar here. So let's get rid of this. Move the pitch shift over here. Whoops. 
Make sure we're on a normal note. Okay, something's off in my timing somewhere. So let's see, one, two, three. I only made these three bars long. So I need to go in and correct that. So I'm going to delete this thing we cloned and we'll come back to it. I actually have to get it all the way to the end of the five for it to be four bars long. So let's get in here and do that. So let's move, since this was my final bar, I'm going to select it all and just move it over. And then we'll put a filler bar here. I wonder what this does. Let's see how it sounds like. I've never tried it. Is it a silent note? Or maybe it's one of those things that has to be... I'm not quite sure what this does. Slide. Okay, hold on, guys. I gotta look up what a slide is. Always learning. Every day. Slide in FL Studio. Oh. Let's give it a try. Maybe it only works with things that are sustained. And since my note doesn't have a sustain in it. And I just realized I put all these on an F. Let's move those down. I'm going to mess around with these ones a bit. Okay, and then we'll do the clone and adjustment to the end on this one. Okay, and then let's go back to the first melody. And the second one there. Okay, and then we're just going to go through and paint these accordingly. Let's go ahead and give it a listen. I want to change that 
triplet that I got going on here. And then I think in this one, we'll actually have it go up. that is sounding great so I'm gonna go ahead and paste these over into their respective positions and this one here has like a double chorus so let's do that melody up there and then here and then we'll come in with the chorus again Go back into the bass melody. Come back here with the chorus melody. The bass melody happens twice here. So let's copy this over three times with a final lead up here. And then the final bout of the chorus. Here and here. And that should do it. So now we need some accompanying instruments. So now we get to go and find some. Let's try to pull in contact. I've worked with it a couple times, but I don't have a lot of meaningful packs for it. It has a lot of neat free stuff in it that we can try out though. So let's give it a listen once it loads in. Here we go. Okay. Um, where should I go? Okay, let's see. We can try vintage stuff. Let's see here. Ooh, future bill. Let's see what this sounds like. Yeah, not my favorite. Uh, let's see. Try out some flute. Hmm. I'm not hearing that sound at all. Let's exit out and try again. There we go. So that has a nice like space like alien like ooh. I might like it with a alternating melody like that. So let's Get this up and call it flute. Give it a random color. And let's just copy and paste this over.
maybe let's differentiate it up a bit. They got a nice vinyl crackle sound accompanying this. Okay, and let's introduce that after the main chorus and see how that sounds with the melody. Okay, and we'll continue it on just pretty much everywhere we feel like it. Maybe we'll bring it up here all the way to and through this part. Yeah, we'll get an another instrument in there starting here, and I think it'll do really well with our flute sound. And we'll just continue the flute sound pretty much through the entire song. we we'll are cut it off a little shorter at the end, so it just focuses more on the guitar sounds. So we'll cut it off here. And uh, then we can go on and get a new instrument. I don't know what this one is yet. We'll leave it unnamed. But maybe we'll get a, another contact in here. Let me go ahead and rename this one to flute so we can keep track of these things. Make sure we're in the right layers contact because we don't want to change our flute up. And let's go back to our instrument. Maybe back here in Vintage still. Well, that's a very synthy pluck. That's not at all what I was getting from that um, name. Uh, well, okay. Um, I don't think I want that for this song. It's cool, but what's angry wave table? I forget. You got to exit out. Yeah, no, still too, still too much dark synth sounding uh, lead. Let's try a string melody. Ooh. No. Mm. Mm. I think I have better string packs somewhere else, so we won't use this one. I do like vibraphone. And I bet you this is going to sound really fun with the pitch shift. doesn't really do a pitch shift with this instrument. Little sad, but 
overall, I still like the sound, so we'll use it. Let's go always come back to see. Yeah, that's fun. And maybe let's add it with the second round of the chorus. Oh, that's sounding a little muddy. Let's pull this back a little and listen to it before. sure how that sounds. I'm not 100% sold on it. Let's go ahead and rename this Vibraphone. And I'll give this a random color. Let's name this. I forgot to do it. Whoop, nope, we'll just auto name. I forgot to give Flute a random color too. We'll just random color it. Redo the auto name so it matches. Okay, that sounds a little better. I did some audio adjustments back here. I just want to make sure they're not all the same uh, level of volume. And I think we'll save the vibraphone for just the choral melodies. We'll leave the in-betweens. Uh, alone. When I forget the choral melody goes kind of long here. Oop, I've got the wrong instrument selected. Let's go fix that. I need a vibraphone. Let's get that in here. Let's also have it through this part. Yeah, that sounds nice. And then we'll get it here too. And I think we'll get it here. Maybe even this will be the instrument we end on. I think that's what we'll end on uh, for the instrument. Okay, I need something else, maybe a second guitar or something to help these melody spaces and to give something over here. So let's create an accompanying melody layer. Let's give it a random color. And since we're starting with this melody, I think we'll keep this guitar and maybe just change, whoops, nope, the octave it's in. So let's lower it and then come in here to our tools. Let's do a flip. And I'm flipping horizontally. And let's see how that sounds. Whoop. In the wrong part. So that is a nice sound. Let's cut this off. Whoop. Make sure we're deselected. 
and then we'll bring it over to the appropriate place. Let's bring it over here. I think is, is what we'll do. We'll clone this. And we're going to cut the melody out of this instrument and into this one. And we're going to change the sound to be a little louder or smaller than the original. Okay, I think that's good. We'll also do uh, accompanying melody two, number two, if we're keeping up with the naming conventions. Let me get back over here and fix that. Let's give this a random color. Let's go ahead and auto name this too. And then let's copy over this second melody and do basically the same thing where we come over here, paste it in, lower it an octave, and come into our tools and flip on the horizontal. And then let's listen. Okay, and then the same thing, we're going to shorten this down. I'm actually going to move this over and then shorten it. So for this accompanying melody, it doesn't sound right. I think we need to just have it match the bass melody. At the lower octave and let's flip it the other way and see if that creates something. We're just going to flip it vertically. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of dissonant notes. Let's come in here. Yeah, F. No F. Make sure all these Fs are E's. These B's are A's. C's and C's are fine. These are fine. This note here is still dissonant. Let's go see what that is. Oh, it's a B. That explains it. So yeah, I think that's a good one. And then I think for here, 
we'll have an accompanying melody number three. I think I'm just going to do a very slow, like, doo doo kind of, kind of beat. So let's give this a random color. Yeah, that really helped add some depth and keeping it simple here is important because of all the different elements. So I think that helped it out. Let's go in and paint in the rest of the patterns. And so we'll just get all these in where appropriate. This one is the long chorus. I definitely probably want to do something around here, maybe in the envelopes or something to try and beef up the, the textural quality. Just try to mess this up a little so it's not so monotonous. Uh, let's go here. Let's see how this sounds. So yeah, I like that. We'll keep that low note in there. And then come back to these. Here for the in-between. Here for the chorus. And then this is the long melody one section. So this needs to be like so. And I may actually keep these the same. Let's see if it helps uh, with the sound at all. So we'll start back here. I think that does help keep this from getting too monotonous. So we'll keep these in the same pattern. I think we'll have this come out like so. And I'll put this here. We'll do an envelope later where it's closing off so that this fades and just leaves the vibraphone melody. Okay. And that's good. I want to get a new instrument that we introduce here, but I'm not quite sure what I want yet. Uh, let's rename this. This is the vibraphone. And let's get contact in here again. And let's look at some of the other instruments they have maybe here in world. Okay, let's get in here again. Pull this instrument in. So that's like another flutey sound.
Ooh. This is like a world drum set. I'll have to remember that and come back to it later. Okay, so that's like another string instrument. That's another flute like sound. So that's another flute. That's almost harmonica sounding. Hmm. It's interesting, but I don't know if it matches the song. Let's actually go here into this pack. They have some pretty good bell sounds that I've used before. So let's see. I remember its name vaguely, so I'll know it if I see it. It's something wood. Or something to do with woods. So maybe not this instrument selection, maybe in here. Hollow trees. I'm pretty sure this was it. Uh oh. It's happening. So I guess contact is like um flex and it uses a lot of CPU. So you're hearing the breaking up of the audio, so we need to use one of my sound fonts or a preset instrument, something that isn't gonna suck up CPU like a sponge. Uh since I mean it's a woody mallet sound. That we had picked out and if we want that I have something similar here in uh Twinkle Star Music Box. Out of here. I don't know, we already have vibraphone and that already sounds similar to a music box. Uh, toys, Toys, Toys has a, uh, like a woody mallet sound. Yeah, let's try this. And we're clicking. So it's not sucking up the CPU. Uh, I probably want it to have its own melody, but something that matches with the song. Whoops, I need to make sure I'm doing this in its own layer. Get out of here. I'm just going to name it after the instrument. Random color. Okay, and then we can go back to our piano row. Hmm. Maybe I'll do it like this. Hmm, that doesn't sound great. Hmm. 
Nope, get out of here. I wonder if it does a pitch shift. Ooh, it does. Gonna get these in here. This really is just a messing around and finding out kind of moment. I don't know if it's very entertaining. So I think it's better to have the one pitch shift, but I may do it down here. Maybe we won't do pitch shift at all. And then maybe we'll also mix these up. Yeah, this isn't sounding good. I'm admit it. This sounds bad. But it may work. The melody works. It's the instrument that I'm not liking. So if I just find an instrument I like, I think we can keep this melody. Uh, so let's test some things out. Let's go over here to JR Kit. Let's try Vibra. Um, ooh, since string, I remember we had some strings we were listening to earlier. Not these ones. Not those ones either. Saxophone! Obviously not. But boy, it was fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when the caffeine kicks in. Oh, that was, that was pain. A little too spaceshipy. Oh. I mean, that's cute, but I don't know if it fits the tone of the song. Yeah, no. Yeah, no, but yeah, but no, but yeah, no. I 
okay, we're getting a little closer. Oh, it doesn't like those short notes. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Let's try the pizzicatos. Oh, that's it. Yeah, so much better. Okay. And then I'm going to move it out to the end here too. Let's see how that sounds with the fade off. Let's see, do I want these to come out here past this? Let's see. I definitely want it the original way. Okay. So I think that's it for our instruments. Let's go ahead and auto name this so we know that it's taken and start working with our sound envelopes. So let's first work with this here. Let's get it inserted into a track. Is one taken? Let's see. Okay. So one, two, three. Four, five, six. So this needs to be in seven. Then we'll come here, create an automated clip, and we'll have it fade in here. So, just in case you don't really can tell the difference before after. So it's very slight, but it's a little better than just a cold opening. And I'm actually going to move this. There we go. That sounds much better. Um, going to rename this to Forest. I didn't mean to delete that. I'm going to put that back in there. And then I'm going to manually rename this Forest envelope. Okay, let's 
come down here. Maybe we'll do an increase to max volume in the forest there. So let's move this here. And then we'll have one here where they go back to normal. So let's get another point here and here where they're increased and then they go back to normal. So I think we're going to move this to where it's back to normal when the music resumes. Okay. And then we'll come here to the end. We want the and to come out for the music a little, but we are going to fade it out. So that'll make it the end sound like this. And I think I want the fade out to happen there actually. So let's bring this back in. There we go. Nice fade out there. Now we need to do one for this accompanying melody and for uh, this log sound that we brought in. So let's give this one just kind of a bluey color. Okay. And then let's go back to our instrument. Okay, we need pizzicato. I forget. Let's rename this because we changed the instrument. Here we go. And uh, let's assign this to eight. And we're going to rename this to batch. And then let's. Uh, we also got to do that to this second guitar here. So we'll assign that to nine. And we're going to rename this one Rocket. Okay. We'll get a sound envelope for our pizzicato and a sound envelope for Rocket. The beginnings are fine. I personally prefer them to start where the instrument starts, but Leaving it here is fine. Um, let's come down because the place we need them is at the end. So let's shorten these to where the instruments end. And add a drop off. Need to make sure we actually got the envelope line. And we'll put the drop off. So I think this one needs to come out one more and pulled in.
Okay, I think that's good. Let's go ahead and name these. So this one is the pizzicato envelope. And this one is the uh, rocket envelope. And let's also change their colors. We'll also change them to this foamy green color. So that all of the envelopes are the same color. And let's give the whole song a listen.
Okay, it was almost perfect. I just gotta change up the end here again. Soften this. Bring it back, maybe one. And for this way, one. Yeah, much better. That way we can get this final note in, but the sound kind of tapers and doesn't have a harsh cut off. And I think I want to do that here too, where it's a little softer. Okay. And I think that does it for this song. Give me a second, guys. I'm going to save this and stuff. Going to save this. And I'm going to open up some of the old songs that we were going to work on. So these ones are going to be the ones that I use for my closing songs over on YouTube. They need some editing. I made them before. I knew anything about what I was doing. So let's get in here. Let's start with the ending for the music. I'm gonna get that open. Wait for it to load up. Okay. Here we go. So I made this last year, I think. No, it would have been more like um, February that I made this. And it's not very well organized at all, as you can tell. Let's go ahead and give it a listen. Okay, and it's just that for a very long time. <clears throat> Communicator error. Sorry. So I need this to be only 20 seconds long or a little over 20 seconds. We're probably looking at 25 seconds in length. Let me let me see how long it is right now. Are you guys wondering why I keep hiding the screen? FL Studio doesn't appear on window capture, so I have to capture my whole screen. So I don't want to show you guys all the cool stuff I'm working on right now. Uh, so let me turn this back on for you guys. And I have my stuff on the second monitor. Okay, so I need them to be about 25 seconds long. And right now the uh, this one is 55 seconds. So we need to basically half it. And I may wind up, let me undo that. I may wind up changing the whole thing. So, this one is bogus. Let's let's um do a save as and we'll do V2. Okay. And let's get to work. So, I don't know, it's got a very hospital daytime drama vibe. Like, for some reason, I'm getting soap opera hospital from this sound. Well, that's not very exciting. <laughs> Let's definitely delete everything. And start from scratch. Just 
going to get rid of these instruments. We'll leave this first one and we'll change it. Yeah, I don't even wind up using this one. And it was still in here. No, I did. I just deleted the pattern. Okay, we're going to change this around. Um, since we only needed about 25 seconds and it was at 29, we need to half that. So we need to end it around the 15 and 16 mark. So that's something we need to keep in mind. The 15 and 16 bar mark. And let's see, I use a lot of guitars. Let me see, let's use Rocket again. I really like the sound of Harmony Rocket. Let's get that in here. And that'll be like the melody. Let's get here into the pack. And go to drums and get our 808 kick. Uh, we need to get a couple of things. I don't know if I want to do cowbell. No joke, I had a song I was working on called Funk Colobian and it was a play on funk to the genre and I stopped working on it because I was like I'm such an imposter I can't do this okay um I don't know if I like this okay snares 808 snare Get an 808 tom. Get this. I don't think I want to use that one. I don't think I want a crash. Hmm. I think we're good as far as percussion goes. Let's go ahead and name this drums. I usually start with the drums and the chord first. So we'll get our drums in. Let's choose an instrument for a chord. Go back to the sound fonts. I don't know if I want to do an ambience. You might do the radio wave sound though. For like the beginning part. And like cut it down drastically because <laughs> this already takes up like the majority of the length of the song we're going for. We really only need the first two bars there. And then we'll start the song here. So we'll just auto name that. Go back to our unsorted. And then let's choose our bass and chord.
so indecisive. Need to get in here and figure out what these sound like. I've done cosmic for a chord before. Let's um get a chord down. Where's this note? Get it. I'm in the middle. That's what's going on. Since it's such a short song, we'll keep everything within one and two bars, I think. I'll go ahead and do the four bars just because I heard something in my head and now I got to get it out. You know how that is. I just need to change this one so it's not the same. Change this a little. Okay, no, I need I need to get all these, shorten them, and then just move them all over. I'm going to change the instrument on this. Oh god, that was... no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know why I expect that to work at all. Oh, that's bad. I have an Edison here. I need to replace this with my reverb. My reverb. Where's my my favorite verber? I changed everything so you can see everything, and I would prefer the other way because I knew where everything was, and now I don't know where anything is. Okay, let's see here. Add. I thought maybe changing the view would help me find it a little. I'm still having troubles. Looking for my reverb. Ah, categories. Here we go. It's going to help me out a bit. Tell reverb. Boost it up to 40.
Hey, it's already better. It still sucks, but it's better. Okay, I'm gonna get out of this group. Let's try to find something neat to put in here. I do like oboe. Yeah, I like that. Nope. Don't want that. Um, I gotta rename this. I forgot I named it Drum. I'm such a forgetful gill sometimes. Ubo. Random color. And let's paint this in here. Up to here. And then let's get in the chord base. I'm going to rename this to chord. I'm going to auto name this. And let's see what we want for our chord base. Might do some brassy sound, like a deep brassy sound. Not this one. Okay, let's go copy our chord over. Copy the chord. Go back to chord base. Paste. And lower the octaves. I put this in the wrong one. Okay, cut this out. This one. Okay, and then we're going to get rid of the bottom ones. Let's find something we like. I like this deep French horn. Uh, let's random color this, auto name this. Okay, so I think that's fine. Let's get in some drums now. Random color. Get this moved down. I don't know why that put that in between those. And then let's just get a beat down. I think I'm gonna do ones and threes. One, three, one, three. Yeah, that's nice. And then we'll do a three tom in between these. And then we'll get a snare on the ones here. And yeah. I think I like that pattern. And this will be like a mini version of 
what I like to do in my songs right now. So let's actually get rid of these. So what I'll do is this first section will be in the outro. And this will be where the title card starts. Okay, let's auto name this. I am going to get a drum lead in in here lead in in here apparently i don't know why it's putting things above there okay and it's just going to be this sound yeah right there So let's get in uh, the guitar. We'll call it melody. And it's got to kind of be a chorus melody because that's all there's time for at this section and it needs to be a little more upbeat than the last one I think. Uh, random color. It likes its purples and greens. Everything's a purple, a green, or a brown. I feel like they don't like yellow. Let's see here. Hmm. Oh, I'm too low an octave. There we go. I'll probably do like we did last time where we have a higher octave thing followed by a, a lo different lower octave accompanying beat. So let's get these in here. Let's see. I want it to be two bars in length, I guess. Make this a little more interesting. Let's do another layer accompanying melody. We'll come back to this one. Do a copy. Go here. Do a paste. And do a flip vertically and change the dissonant notes.
Okay, and drop it an octave. And we'll have it start there. I don't like this accompanying one. Let's change it. We'll do... Let's do that. A little quicker than that. Maybe deselect. Let's do that for here. Okay, I think that's fine. Auto name these. I'm going to do some audio adjusting. I need to have the elbows lower and throw a guitar and the horns a little louder, I think. another instrument maybe cube yeah cube all hail the cube I need to find flex okay I can get away with one flex in here okay and I know it's cube I don't remember where it was It's not in Drumful Treasures. I think maybe General Library. It's got Crystal. I know I've used that before. Synth Plug Cube, I think it was. Yeah. Cube. Cube. Random color. See, another green. FL Studios bias. Okay. Yeah, that's good.
Oh, I think I like that stop on that cube. So let's clone this. And let's see, it stopped at this C. And we'll put that at the end. Um, I definitely need to do some audio mixing. Um, oboe, I think I need to change the instrument on the chorus. Yeah, definitely need to change it. Let's go here to here. Flute large. Let's try that. Definitely need to lower this chorus is at a pretty high octave. give it a listen to one more time. I'm going to adjust the volume to that a little more. Oh, you know what we need? That's what's missing. Okay. Okay. Go to this chord. Come here. We need we need Edison. Do 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 Edison. Okay, we need to go to pattern. Okay, I'm on chord. Okay. Cut off. We need to cut off this end. And we need to reverse it. I did that wrong. Let's go back. I need this tail. Let's reverse it first. Okay. We'll cut off this part. Cut off this part. And soften it. Yeah. Okay. I'll put this riser here. Let's actually slightly move it after the radio flip. in whistle too. I think maybe that can be the unifying sound between these three songs. Um, whistle. Gotta find the right whistle though.
No, it's not that one. Next. Nope. Nope. Okay. Um. Is this one? No. I thought it was maybe. Can't remember where it was. Goodness. It's got a very spacey sound to it, like a cartoon UFO almost. I thought it was in Citrus. Maybe it was Angelic Whistle. Well, no, this isn't the one. But I like it. Okay, let's get a new layer whistle. And we're going to choose the color ourselves. Gonna be orange because everything's too green and purple and brown. Okay, let's see. Hmm. I don't know if I like that after all. I just really want my other whistle. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do file. And I'm going to pull up another song that I do have it in. Let's hope that I didn't delete it in a fit of rage one day. Let's see here. And I probably did. I don't see it at all. Okay, so I can't go there. Or assistant. I wonder if it was only an FL Studio 11, because I'm in 20 now and I use the original in 11. Let's um, go to these other ones. Maybe it was in one of these other ones. Not this one, but I do like that one. Uh, I think this one's different. This is it! I found it! Okay. It doesn't work with the pitch shift, so...
Yeah, and then we'll extend this out so we get that nice long kind of spaceship sound. Let's actually go here. This is too long. We'll do it to here. So we definitely need to do some audio adjustments again. Let's get these named what's wrong with yellow fl studio oh you don't like yellow why don't you ever random color me a yellow okay uh enough of the rant uh mixing whistle needs to be pretty up there need to turn these down a little I think I like that. I think that is actually going to be our ending song. So that's good for that one. Now we need to do two more because I also post art and gameplay videos and I had a different one for each of those. I think I want all of them to match this kind of sound now. So I'm going to keep all the instruments. Let me hide this. And we're going to just create a new file. And it'll be art ending version two. And we'll work with the art one first. Okay. Because the way I have it now, those songs do not sound the same at all. Let me pull up. I'm going to play all three songs for you so you kind of get a feel. They're all kind of disjointed and they were just things that I thought sounded cool and uh yeah. Okay let's get in here. I need to Find where they are in my library. Yeah, uh, they none of them sounded the same. And they were things I had just done real quick in February. All of them are in proper length. Here we go. So this was the uh, music ending. So the one that we just redid. The one that kind of sounds like a hospital telenovela ending. And this is what the art one sounded like. And this one is very in line with the sound that I'm trying to go for now.
And then the game ending is this one. Yep, gotta locate it. So they just relied on a lot of prepackaged sequencers. And I just want to have them more personalized to the channel and more in line with each other. So I think we'll do that. We'll start all of them with the radio waves and we'll keep the instruments the same, but change up the patterns. So I'm going to kind of leave everything where it's at and work around it. Uh, let's go into our chord base, our actual the, the chord, and let's change the chord for the art one. So this was the one. I'm going to change these around a little. Just going to play around with it and see if I could get something I like. So let's change these to match a little. Then we'll copy this over into the base and we'll paste it. We'll get rid of the old stuff and we'll move everything down two octaves and get rid of the bottom ones. And then we'll I think we'll do the two step here. Still. I did this pattern incorrectly. Let's. Okay. This one's fine. This is the long one. And this is the uh, two-step one. Let's mute all of these until we're done. Maybe I want these lower even. That's nice and nice and bassy. So we'll do that. Let's change the drum pattern. Uh, the drum lead in's fine. We'll leave it as it is. On the other one, I had it on ones and twos. So let's keep it like that. Uh, let's erase all this so we can match the pattern better. That's a little too much. Yeah, we'll keep this. And then we'll do a tom here, here and here. 
Let's actually do. Yeah, there we go. And then we can do a snare. And then we'll do. There we go. This will be our drum pattern. We can now unmute this. Hello, welcome to the channel. Nice to have you stop by. How's your day going? We're just making some ending songs for our YouTube videos. Good to see your face around here for the first time. Yeah, so that's good. Let's work with the melody. Let's see, this is what we had for the other song. Uh, we're going to start from scratch. We're going to get rid of that. Oh, moderator. Stop spamming caps. No, Nightbot, hold on. I'm going to fix this. That, that was wrong. Nightbot, you are not being a good moderator. Hold on, I'm going to fix this. I'm going to fix it for you. Why did it do that? I got a new bot. I was on MooBot and it wasn't working. And now I've got to... Do some fixing and the new one. Okay, um, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> you asked where I'm from. I'm from the planet Uboon. Um, I'm trying to fix this for you. I'm really sorry. Let me get over here. I'm um, from the planet Uboon, and I came to Earth to study his culture. I can't... where's... Where's my timeouts? I need to turn off these horrible timeouts. I'm sorry that the stream came to a halt. I'm sorry that my bot is being dumb. Here we go. Spam protection. Disable excessive caps. They can scream if they want, Nightbot. Let them scream. Uh, also, emotes need to be allowed too. Um, symbols can be allowed too. Okay. I think I fixed it. Let me see if I can untime you out. I'm so sorry about this. So I noticed your name has beats in it. Do you also like to work with music? Let me see if I can get you to chat again. I need to forgive this person, please. Lightbot, don't be a jerk. Don't be a space meanie.
I'm sorry. It won't let me undo your timeout. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> I tried. But it won't happen again in the future. And that's the, the best I can do. I'm so sad. I lost a space friend. Because of my freaking Nightbot. Okay. Uh, back to the task at hand, I guess. quiet guys I'm just I'm just like really like what really you cost me a friend why are you like this on the default settings I was talking they were talking everyone was fine they just asked where I was from like how dare you I'm so sad now. I can't focus. I'm going to try, though. You know, I just want to try to give the best content I can and make sure the channel is the best place for you guys. So, stuff like this really gets to me. I don't want you guys to have to suffer. Okay, I think that's a good melody. I just realized all of these are too long. I gotta re-space them. Okay, let's get the accompanying melody. So let's come over here. We'll copy these. Paste here. Get rid of these ones. Move these down an octave. 
and uh, flip vertically, and then we'll change the dissonant note. Uh, deselect everything first. All these need to be F. Sharps need to be flat. These need to be A's. Okay, I think that's good. Then we need to go here and fix the spacing issue. The, this came out. Okay, then we need to get cube. Cube may be fine. Cube's fine and whistle may be fine too. do it for this one. I'm going to take a quick moment to miss myself and cry in a corner. Give me a second, guys. Okay, I'm back. I'm totally fine. Yeah, totally fine. All right, now we're going to work on the game ending song. Let's do another save as. And we'll say game. Ending version two. So we'll do the same thing. We'll leave cube and whistle the same. And then we'll change these other things. So let's go into chord. And let's change this chord. And we'll get these ones to kind of match. I don't want that to be there for a second time. It'll probably be fine. Yeah, 
that's perfectly acceptable. Cord. Let's copy it over, go to the base. Paste it. Delete the old. Move this down two octaves. And then get rid of, whoop, get rid of these bottom ones. I accidentally deleted the final note there. And then let's get the drums. And we'll just erase everything. And I think I'm going to do ones and threes again. But I'm going to do two threes. And then we'll do a tom on this three and one on this one. We'll do a snare here. Maybe even here. Okay, and then we'll unhide this. You know, I'm I'm having a problem with this chord instrument. I think I'm going to go through all of them and change it. So I'm going to change it here on stream and I'll change the rest and post. But I need to find something better for this chord. So let's unhide everything. And let's try to find something that fits with everything else. I'm going to go to flex. Nope. Never mind. Flex doesn't want to operate. <sighs> okay, okay. Maybe just a nice piano. Okay, I definitely prefer it with the piano. Um, let's hide these again. And uh, we got to redo the Edison for the Giga piano. Get rid of this. Okay. And then get rid of this one. Do a 
reverse. Cut off the tail here. And then um, need to drag it into the song. Okay, yes, that's fine. Let's fix the melody. I need to delete this master volume envelope. Uh, wrong thing. I need to be on melody. There we go. I'm gonna get rid of this. Deselect everything. And just find a new pattern we like. Okay, that's fine. Yep, oh, yep, yep. I'm not focusing. Okay, focus. Oh, focus. I do it again. Focus. Copy. Paste. Erase. Lower. I'm going to start calling out everything I do like an anime protagonist. Flip it and correct it. This one is actually not too bad. Okay, and let's see how it sounds. I'm also going to turn down the cube fluck now. Okay. 
Okay, and I think that's good. I'm just gonna save that. So that does it for those three endings. Um, we still have time on stream, so I'm gonna go fix those other two. Um, so this is game ending. We need to redo music ending. And it was Giga Piano. And now I need to do some audio adjusting and redo the Edison. So again, we'll turn the synth plug down, turn the piano up. Let's go ahead and redo this Edison clip. Get rid of this one. Whoops, candle. Make sure we're on the cord there. Get out of here. Okay. And do a reverse. I think we're going to cut off the tail here a little bit. Okay. And we'll plop this in here. I need to adjust that a little bit. Just a smidge too overlapped. That's good for that one. Get it saved. And open up. The art ending. Really, did I make a grave mistake? I don't think I saved. I don't think I saved the art ending under its own thing. And I'm going to have to go redo it. Man, I am just not on my game right now. Okay. Okay, we're going to do this again. I'm gonna make sure I do the save as this time. Art. Well, no, it says that I have it saved. Let me go find it. Open. Here it is, it's way up here. Okay. And move Giga Piano to the cord. Get rid of this. Go over here to Edison. Make sure I'm on pattern. Uh, get rid of this. Reverse it, cut off this other stuff we don't need. Okay. 
pull this in, align it properly. This may be a little too overlapped. Let's pull it back a little. And then let's go back and do some audio adjusting. Okay, and we'll call it good on those. Let's see how much time we got left. We got about 15 minutes. We can start a new song with that. Let me go ahead and do that. Let's open the Opening file and then do a quick save as follow stream song five. Guys, we've already made five songs together. Can you imagine that? Okay. Boop. Starting from scratch. Okay, I don't need the clap or the hi hat. Now we'll keep the kick and the snare. Let's go to the packs, drums, and I want the 808 tom in here. We'll keep 808 snare. Um, Let's see if I can find. Yeah, here we go. This hat is the one I prefer. Okay, so we've got our drum kit here. Uh, first thing I like to do though is start with the chord. So let's go ahead and find an instrument for that. We'll start with Giga Piano again. Why not? We're already here. Uh, let's make sure our reverb is on. And then we'll rename this first one chord. And we'll just give it a random color. What do you think it's going to be? Purple, green, or brown? Green. <laughs> okay. Let's let's get some chords in here. I think I want another pretty long chill song. So let's do that. We need to fix this. Some things a little dissonant. Okay. 
It's the D's, probably. I think that's good. I also need to get an ambient noise. Let's auto name this. Go into my little ambient folder. Let's see, what do we want? What do we want? Children in school is nice. Sound effect. So is cicadas. You know, it's the season of cicada. Let's get cicada in here. And we'll do it again. And I just realized we're at a pretty high BPM for chill. We're going to go down to 80 and fix everything that that created a problem with. OK, yeah, that's long enough. Just the volume on that. I still don't like the end of that chord. Let's fix that. That's too low. Okay, that's better. Uh, let's get in our chord bass now. Random color. Which one do you think it's going to be? Brown. Um, okay, we need to go back here. Copy everything. Go here. We'll keep the same instrument and we'll just lower the octave by two and let's see how that sounds. I actually changed my mind. I want to get a different instrument. Let's get this out of here. And let's go to the bass folder. I believe there's an upright bass sound somewhere that I prefer. I know this isn't the upright bass, but let's try it.
Okay, let's get rid of these bottom ones. Auto-name this. Get our pattern in. This will be our drum pattern. Random color. Oh boy, I can't wait to find out. Green. Let's do two and four actually And then we'll do like a snare on this four and this four. Okay, we're going to do this a little differently than I normally do. I like this. We're going to clone this. And then we're going to have this drum for three bars and this one for one. Okay, I need to switch all of these to one and three. I'm just gonna move everything over one. And I got to go through and do that with everything else. Move everything over by one. Okay, these cords are a little too long. So I'm going to go through, select these. They need to be about half their length. Get these over. And move these back into place. We need to get one more set in here. Okay, I'm going to start again. I'm not liking the feel of this. Not liking the feel of it. I'm going to get rid of these two. Let's go ahead and auto name this before we forget. Not the one. Focus. Focus, Olo. Focus. 
Okay. Okay, so this will be the end. So let's move it all the way over into bar four. And just kind of work backwards, I guess. But definitely this is the right length here. No. Gotta deselect that. That's too low. And then before we end today, let's get over here and get the cord put into place. Whoops, I did the wrong thing. Okay. Copy. Paste. Whoa! I'm gonna move these up one, delete these. Okay, move these down one. Okay. And then we'll leave the bottom ones and we'll get rid of the top ones. So definitely deleted that bottom one there again. Okay, and then we'll do a final listen on what we have here. And I still need to fix that cord. But that's a problem for a future Olo. All right, everyone, that's all the time we have for today. I want to give a super deep apology to our poor dear space friend that came in here and left. Uh, Rosestone Beats. So I'm sorry. But we've got the Nightbot fixed. It shouldn't be attacking anyone anymore for dumb reasons. So luckily that won't be a problem in the future. So that's it for today. Until next time, have fun space friends.